In today's video, we're going to be looking at whether or not the German short hair pointer makes a good guard dog. Welcome back to the Fenrir German Short Haired Pointer Show. If this is your first time here, my name is Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the German Short Haired Pointer. Then how to become a high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect German Short Haired Pointer. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new German Short Haired Pointer, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future upload. So then let's get into today's video where we'll be looking at whether or not the German short hair pointer makes a good guard dog. So let's get started. In this video we'll be focusing on the German short hair pointer and whether or not they'll make good guard dogs but let's just look at dogs in general to begin with. Dogs are intelligent and complex animals, meaning that they're all different and all have their own personalities. I don't think it's too brave of me to say that you won't find any two exactly the same. And so regardless of the breed, there are many contributing factors to their ability and likeliness to being good guard dogs. Some breeds will be more protective of their homes and owners, but that can be because of their breed history, training, socialization, or even just the dog's own personality. We'll look at the history and temperament of the German short hair pointer in relation to their guard dog skills and have a summary at the end. The German short hair pointer was created to fulfill the need for a versatile hunting dog due to the rise of the German empire in the 1880s. The heightened demand for meat and hides requires a dog with a sensitive nose, discipline and an instinct to focus on the hunt. The German short hair pointer we know today were developed from old Spanish pointers and Brock Francais with the addition of German bloodhounds for tracking and scent work purposes, whilst also softening the breed's temperament. In the 1860s, this mixture was further crossed with English pointers to improve their speed and pointing instincts. The end product was a sleek, intelligent, loyal and versatile gun dog with incredible stamina, a highly developed pointing instinct and an eagerness to retrieve game. So all in all, this is a breed that's been very specifically bred for one purpose, and that's to track and retrieve. They have a strong loyalty towards their owners and low aggression, so a perfect for having out in the field, but they will fully focus on the hunt if you were to be out with them. They're quiet when working and they weren't bred to be noisy. They wouldn't do well at sneaking up and flushing game if they were making loads of noise. They only really bark when provoked or spooked by something. So with that, let's look deeper into their temperament and the likelihood of them becoming a decent guard dog. Hey guys, really quick message. I just wanted to let you know that we have a completely free course called The Principles to the Perfect Puppy. It's where I've boiled down and condensed all of my skill set, experience and knowledge in raising perfect puppies into this mini course. Like I say, it is completely free. If you are interested in checking it out or just want some more information, there'll be a link in the description box below. And if you are interested, I can't wait to speak to you over there as well. Loyalty and close bonds with their family are what can be expected from a German short hair pointer. They can be very affectionate when at home with their family but can either be reserved or even wary of strangers. And they have an alarm bark that can be mildly protective. They're a good sized dog and so can produce a deep booming bark when they want to. Whilst it isn't really in their instinct to be protective in a way that a bauble would be, they will alarm you with that bark should they feel the need to. But this won't be a common occurrence. They shouldn't really be too bothered when the postman comes up to the house, but a stranger they haven't anticipated may be another matter. Whilst you might like this alarm bell, these are intelligent, eager to please dogs, so if you start early, you may be able to train this out of them, or at least teach them another way to warn you of an unexpected visitor. So let's do a quick recap. To call a German short hair pointer a watchdog would be a far better description than a guard dog. Whilst they'll bark to alarm you of someone approaching the home because of their wariness to strangers and their close bond to you, they aren't likely to become aggressive towards intruders. The booming alarm bark that they can produce will be a deterrent in itself. They're hunting dogs by nature, so aren't made to be noisy or easily spooked. It's how wary your pointer is that will depend on how much of a good watchdog they can be more than anything. And like I've mentioned, they are also eager to please, so you can always try consistent training 
home from a young age if you don't want every unsuspecting visitor to be unnerved by the booming bark of your German short head pointer. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down in the comment section below. And don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated German short head pointer videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the German short head pointer show.